Welcome to our second video with data structures and algorithms. We're going to continue our conversation about uh, asymptotic notations. <clears throat> and in this video, we will specifically talk about big omega notation. So as we saw in the last video, that big O notation is the upper bound on the order of growth of a function. And we will see here that big omega notation is the lower bound on the order of growth of a function. So as we did before, we can define this mathematically by saying that if there exists constants a and b greater than 0, let's just clean this up, greater than 0, such that our function f of n is greater than or equal to a times g of n, for all n greater than or equal to b, then f of n is big omega g of n. And basically what this is saying is that, again, g of n is a lower bound. And let's, if we visualize that, it's easier to understand. So here's our graph, our little plot. And let's take uh, a function f, oh, it's a little messy, let's just say, there we go, it's more like a function, f of n. And here is g of n. Oh, wait, actually, let's kind of show a better one, this. Here's a times g of n. And our point, or our constant, b. Again, as you can see, that a times g of n is, of course, a lower bound on f of n from b onwards, from this, this point uh, b onwards. So let's do an example, of course. And we'll take uh, an f of n, we'll say it's equal to n squared plus n plus, I don't know, 100. And I'm going to say g of n is equal to n. So let's use our definition. Let's say f of n is big O g of n. We want to find out if this is true. So again, using our definition, n squared plus n plus 100 is supposed to be greater than or equal to constant a times g of n for all n greater than or equal to some other constant b. So let's choose a b equal to 1, right? So our lowest value of n should be 1 here. So if we plug that in, right, 1 squared is 1, 1, we get 102, must be greater than or equal to a times, well, 1. So we don't need to write that. So we can say that as long as a is less than or equal to 102, while b is equal to 1, then f of n is, of course, a big omega g of n. And we'll write that like this. We'll say that n squared plus n plus 100 is big omega g of n. And we can say that f of n is big O or big omega, sorry, of n. Now I want us to say something that that um, this right here, we, we're starting to see that really the highest order is really what counts here. Uh, n squared clearly grows faster than n, and I kind of have that here. You can see that f of n. Let's it's kind of more like a quadratic function clearly grows much faster than a linear function. 